in the middle of riot vans, in the middle of police in riot gear, on the steps of the town hall, we came across a group of young men in prayer, taking a prayer break from the protests. Oh, what, what is your name and uh, what kind of message would you like to send? My name is Abdul Haseeb. Uh, the message I'd like to send is, we know what's going on in the country, okay, and we are showing our interest that we don't like the rules which have come. Okay. Meanwhile, we don't forget our rights and duties which we are morally we are supposed to follow. Other than that, we do our things right, all things what, what are, whatever are go, supposed to be done in a procedure. We follow the procedure, and th obviously the things will be refined in a, at the moment. Yeah, uh, they they want to uh, stop our voice. What we are raising, yeah, they they are putting section 144 and all. They want us to stop doing all this. Okay. But we are fighting for our rights. What is ours is ours. You can't take it from her. Our fathers, our forefathers, everyone were Indian. Even we are Indian. You can't tell us. So show us the documents. When we are staying here from long time, my father, my grandfather, my, our sister stayed here. We born here and we will die here only. You can't just tell us show your document and go out of the country. Then I, again starting. Uh, they'll divide a small, small group and they'll take and they'll put in the detention center. So we don't want this law, we don't want CAP to be happen in India. Well, a very, very clear message here from these youngsters who had come here to take a prayer break, to take a prayer break during the protests themselves. Their message is clear, they do not want the CAA law and they feel there is discrimination. With DM Kumar, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.